my Airstream, which is my full-time home, was basically destroyed. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hey everybody, it's Robin with Creativity RV. So right now I am in my fifth wheel. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I took my fifth wheel out of storage to do some maintenance on it and my Airstream is outside the window right there. Um, I am in an RV park next to my friend Debbie. And two nights ago at about nine o'clock, I was sitting here watching TV. The weather seemed fine. There was no rain or anything. And then all of a sudden something huge and loud struck the side of my RV. It sounded like a baseball. And about five seconds later, there was another one and I jumped up, texted Debbie, oh shit. <laughs> and she said, is that hail? And just then the sky opened up and there was ping pong size hail, according to the weather report, and 60 mile an hour winds. And all we could do was sit inside and listen to it destroy our RVs. Oh my God. Oh. Holy cow. What the hell? Oh, this is not good. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh no, my Airstream. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh no. No, no. It looks like baseball. If you've been inside of an RV during a rainstorm, you know that can be really loud. But a hailstorm with that size hail is kind of scary. The weather alerts were saying to seek shelter in a basement or an interior room. So all we could do was like stand in the center of our RVs. And I tried to look outside. There was lots of lightning. It was dark um, to see if there was any damage to the Airstream. But I couldn't see until the next morning. And... Airstreams are aluminum, and of course there was, but I wasn't the only one in here. I am in an RV park, as you can see, and pretty much everybody in here um, has a ton of damage. Um, Debbie had a bunch of damage, but the next day everybody was outside. People had damage on their cars. Their skylights were shattered, and their vents were broken. Just really 
awful hail damage. That hailstorm was the scariest storm I've ever been in, except for a bomb cyclone that I wrote out in my Class C, um, also in another part of Colorado, um, where my RV was actually picked up and moved about three feet, um, and I was thrown off a couch onto the ground during that storm. So that one was really scarier. Um, this one was scary more because of the damage. My parents' hood has hail damage, the fifth wheel has hail damage, and the Airstream has a shit ton of hail damage. Fast forward two weeks, and the poop has really hit the fan. I wish I could tell you that things have gotten better, but it's the Murphy's Law of RV life. Now, the fifth wheel I'm in is almost unlivable. I thought that I was lucky that I had a place to stay while I figured out what to do with the Airstream. Um, that might not be the case. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do and hit the little bell for notifications because next week I'm going to give you the update on that. But for now, let me tell you what has happened with the Airstream. My insurance company assessed the damage on the Airstream and sent me a preliminary check. Now you might know that I worked in insurance for a long time. So if you're not familiar, let me tell you how this works. When you have collision or comprehensive on your insurance policy, hail is covered under comprehensive. Um, before you get it repaired, they will do a starter estimate, which is always super low ball, like half what it normally is to repair something. Um, to get you started on the repairs and then when you take it into a repair shop the repair shop will bill the insurance company directly for the difference in what's called a supplemental check so I was expecting that my preliminary check was going to be low and it was um, the bigger problem is that I can't find a place to even fix the Airstream nobody that I can find in Colorado will tackle it um, there is one dealership that will, but right now they're not returning my phone calls. I've sent them the damage and followed up a couple of times, but I think they're just really slammed from all the hail damage. Here's the problem with Airstreams. They're aluminum, so they get a lot of damage. And when that damage has to be repaired, they have to take out thousands of rivets on the inside and the outside and then order those curved pieces, which can take months to get. So here are my options. I can take the check and keep it as is and run. Um, I can wait and have it repaired, but it looks like I'd have to go across the country to the mothership to have that done um, to the Airstream factory. And the earliest it looks like I could get in now is October or November. Um, or I can sell it uh, and keep the check and hope that that makes up for the difference. And I have some stuff in mind. I'll let you guys know when I decide what to do. My friend Debbie, unfortunately, had her RV, her home, totaled out by her insurance company. Now, that works differently from state to state. Usually, you have to get a salvage title, um, and then you can't have physical damage coverage on it again, but some states will allow you to have a clean title. After a claim like that, you just can't claim hail damage again. So another good reason to look at your resident state. And poor Debbie, I don't know if you saw the interview that we did a few weeks ago because she's an RV inspector. She came here to visit me just to do that interview. And the next day is when that damage happened. You know, that's her house and she's got some decisions to make as well. And it just sucks. But this is part of RV life. And I'm just rolling with it, you guys. I will let you know what I'm doing as soon as I know. But first of all, I have to figure out what I'm doing in this fifth wheel. It's almost unlivable. Um, so watch next week and I'll give you the update on what's happening with that. I hope you all are doing well out there and had a nice holiday. I'll see you next week with that all new video. Until then, everybody out there, have happy travels and be free.